Hey Toy Addicts, it is that time again. Time to talk way past time to talk about what sold in November and then I'm gonna have a December video coming out real soon too. I promise. I thought I would try this format where you can see my face even though the camera is quite close to the computer but the computer is still over here so I'm mostly gonna be looking over here but you can see me. I don't know, do you want to see me? I don't know, probably doesn't matter, but here I am. Okay, I'm going to try to not talk about every single thing and give you the story behind every single thing, but more talk about what something sold for. Um, and again, we've kind of talked before about how I'm not super concerned with um, how much I paid for something because you're not going to pay the same amount. But, um, you know, I'm cheap, so most things are real cheap. If I did pay up for something, I'll definitely tell you that. So there's a few things here from October. The first thing here we're going to talk about is a fabric panel, cut and sew fabric panel. I think I've talked to you guys about these before. Most of them are bread and butter. There's a couple that are worth, like, around $100. So if you do see these once in a while... Go on eBay, do a little research, look at the ones that are worth good money and pick those up. Otherwise, they're bread and butter. I tend to pick them up because I know they'll sell, but uh, most of the time they're $10 to $15. Unless you find like a character or something. It's a Mickey Mouse t-shirt that I had and this is a print ad. Um, I like to pull out prints, ads, things from old magazines that are messed up and uh, sell the ads. This typical of this magazine that this came out of, they sell for about five to seven dollars. I pulled probably about 10 to 20 ads out and uh, I sold one of the ads from this magazine for a hundred dollars. So, you know, don't just discount old magazines because they can be worth something if you split them apart and sell the ads separately. Who knew? Well, I guess some resellers did, but <laughs> um, this little rug, I actually saw Bolo Buddies buy a bunch of dollhouse stuff recently, and um, she did really good with like artisan dollhouse stuff. So I saw this at a an estate sale, and um, it was two two dollars, and it was really nicely made, really neat. So I thought, oh, I'll pick it up, and I listed it for forty dollars, and it sold in like three minutes. So I guess it could have gotten even more than $40 for it. It's a little 10 inch by 7 inch, so small rug. This was a super fun little kid's vest that I got in a state clean out. It sold for $18. Um, dollhouse Beatrix Potter, like a pop-up scene. Here's a super cute Cabbage Patch doll that was in just perfect condition. She sold for $50. It's a little clippy doll for $10. These are some air cushion garter holders for $12.25. And this is the Orb, which is sort of like a Rubik's Cube y solve it game that sold for $20. I bought a stack of these little Barbie sticker books for $2 each at a doll show I went to this summer. And um, that one, I think this is the second one I sold for $15. These. Columbia House little stamps. You remember getting those? These were in with that sale where I bought all the stickers. $8. And then this Dawn doll was uh, in a fill bag. So probably 50 cents into her. She sold for $20. A lot of people avoid Avon and some people even avoid selling perfume altogether on eBay these days. But this was a full bottle in the box of Avon perfume not the figural bottle. Those don't tend to go for very much. If I had this exact same perfume Odyssey in like a rabbit shaped bottle, it would probably sell for $5. But because it was in a regular bottle, it sold for $20. And then this was a Little Kills. I also got that sticker sale, the fill a bag sticker sale. Um, it was some sort of display or something. I don't think it came off of a box. Um, I wasn't sure, but I put it on auction and I listed it as a display and said in the auction I wasn't sure what it was and it sold for $29. And 
And this little Jurassic Park dino sold for $27.50. I got him at Goodwill for $3.99. This is a chimney off the Precious Places, Places Mansion. You've seen me for months and months and months selling parts and pieces off of this mansion. I still have several pieces left. <laughs> I sold that for $10. And then this is a Precious Places, just a little lot of toys and keys and accessories that sold for $23.50. Here's a Kenneth Cole perfume I paid a dollar for and it sold for $23. Postcards. I like to sell postcards. They're so easy to list. They're easy to store. They're easy to pack. They're easy to ship. They don't usually make much money, but it's just a little bit of a little bit of sprinkle on top of everything else. So this one, I paid. Uh, usually don't pay more than probably 25 cents is about the most, unless I think something is really neat. This one I paid 25 cents for, and it sold for eight dollars. Christmas ornament, thirteen fifty. I think I paid two or three dollars for it, and a refill refill paper mate pen sold for uh, ten dollars. This teeny tiny tumbles guy. He's little, like two and a half, maybe three inches, and he has like a really heavy head and then a light body. So he's supposed to like, if you sit him up, he's supposed to like do a somersault. He sold for fifteen, and then I've talked to you in several videos before about these Chrissy shoes. These sold for $23.50 and that was I think my last pair. And Sailor Moon, Sailor Jupiter doll. She's a little one. I usually buy Sailor Moon when I find it because it usually sells pretty well. Holly Hobby. This is a greeting card but it's also paper dolls inside. It's a whole paper doll set. It's really neat. That sold for $23.50. Ooh, and these shoes... $50. These are doll shoes. These are smaller than Barbie shoes. They're from a doll called Blythe from, that was made in 1972 by Kenner. Uh, she has a very enthusiastic following. These sold really quickly for $50. And then a Holly Hobby Christmas card. Um, also a paper doll card inside that sold for $20. I got from that paper um, fill -a bag sale, I got about, I think maybe 30 Holly Hobby greeting cards, and um, I've been selling them for between between 13 to 24, 25 dollars each. So it's been pretty good. This little lot of porcelain dolls sold for 30 dollars. This was two jumbo Muppets. Um, paper clips. They sold for eight dollars. That was in the fill bag, so I just threw it in, figuring it probably wouldn't be a big deal, and it wasn't. But eight bucks. So these fun little Christmas labels, they are just tiny little, like one inch, gummed labels. So they're stickers before stickers, and. Um, at that fill -a bag sale, there was a couple of boxes and stuff around, and they just had bunches of these at the bottom of the boxes. And if you watch my um, sticker book videos, I have um, a lot of the sticker books. I have a bunch of these. I just grabbed handfuls of them and um, put them in my bag. And some of them got damaged because of that because I just kind of threw them in there. But... I did make up several small lots and have sold, sold most of the lots here before Christmas for about eight to ten dollars. So here's one of those lots. There's another one over here. This was a Ginny doll outfit that sold for twenty. Um, I had uh, went to a garage sale this summer and I bought some Build-A-Bear Cubscription boxes. So those are just like it's a Build-A-Bear that comes in it, but it's not a big Build-A-Bear. It's probably maybe 10 inches or quite a bit smaller. And the boxes come with clothes for the bear, sometimes clothes for you and different accessories. And they're really neat. I had never heard of them before, but why not have also have subscription boxes if you're Build-A-Bear, right? So I bought four boxes for $50, um, which is paying up. But I sold um, this one for 45 So 
I got most of the money back in the first box. This is an Avon Colorworks 90s um, makeup. I'm assuming someone is not still using this makeup from the 90s, but uh, just collecting it. It sold for $10. I paid 50 cents for it. I do pick up Avon stuff. I know a lot of people don't. They say it doesn't sell. I bought, I picked up an entire, basically it's an entire banker box full of Avon stuff. Um, in the, you know, over in the last year, probably at two different sales. And um, the box is almost empty now. So, while some stuff has taken a few months to sell, it's mostly sold through. So, I don't know. You don't have to pick up Avon. You can leave it for me. <laughs> um, this is Hallmark Star Trek Enterprise Shuttlecraft Ornament. Um, I actually got that free. Somebody sent gave me that. That was sold for $15. I always pick up these little Barbie babies. They're about this big. And I would sell them in lots for $10 to $15. This was a neat postcard. I picked up Caribou Indian Girls Pipe Band from St. Joseph's Mission School in Canada. Um, I know there's a lot going on about the mission schools and stuff in Canada right now. So I figured someone would want that. And I listed it and it sold in the same day for $15. Um, these are some Home Co. Uh, bunny rabbits, some just playful bunny rabbits. I paid $1.50 for the set of these and they sold for $18.80, 20% off. I had a little sale going on for a while. Dixie's Diner Pinball Machine with Eddie the Surfer Doll. I picked these up at an estate sale um, this summer. Paid $5 per set and he sold for $45, no $47 I believe. And then the jukebox, which I love this little jukebox because it actually has a light inside and lights up. And that one also sold for $47 to the same seller, or buyer, excuse me. And then little Kittles doll, she sold for $42.50. This menu book, I love selling vintage menus. You guys know how much I love ephemera. There's two really good vintage menus right here on the screen right now. But this was a book from the Seattle World's Fair, and it just had, like, menus in it from a bunch of local restaurants in 1962. So I bought that at a sale for $8, and then it sold for $40. And this was a little Cabbage Patch Kids diaper that somebody gave me. It's an unused doll diaper, sold for 6 bucks. And then this one, this Igloo menu, this was from 1941, and the restaurant actually closed I want to say 1946 I can't remember exactly now but um, the only other one I saw online had sold for $200 but it was framed and so I just listed it at 175 and figured I'd kind of go from there and it actually ended up selling for 125 so vintage menus right 125 bucks nice here's some more Columbia House stamps that sold for $12 this is also from that sticker sale, a Sandy Lion sticker greeting card. And I believe I took an $85 offer for this one. I have several more of those. So if you're looking for sticker greeting cards at high, high prices, come on down and see me. <laughs> um, and I sold this Norcrest horse figurine somebody gave to me for $37.50. Uh, Mary Kay Emollient Night Cream, $40. An Old Ponds Cream Jar that was empty, that sold for $20. A postcard for $5. This little compact, really small little brass compact case, clearly from probably the 20s or the 30s. Um, it had this little disc on top. I think it was Bakelite pretty sure but I put a question mark because I was not positive um, and that sold for nine dollars and sixty cents and this Raggedy Ann figure that I had forever sold for four dollars and eighty cents <laughs> and this is a little Calico Critters family I bought at an estate sale this fall that sold for twenty two dollars 
some Halloween stickers for $6. This little monkey, I've had this little monkey before. It's by Ashton Drake. It's a very detailed little monkey. It's supposed to come with tennis shoes and the diaper was kind of falling off. And the last time I sold it, I sold it for $40, but mine that I had before was in the box. It had all the pieces. It was in really good shape and like the certificate of authenticity and stuff because it is Ashton Drake, you know? So this one I listed for quite a bit less, but it sold really quick. So maybe I could have gotten more out of it, but it's just this tiny little monkey and it looked very real. And then some Flintstones toys for $12, a Barbie 1998 Happy Birthday Barbie. Barbie, um, 80s and 90s Barbies, 90s Barbies especially are really hot right now. And even into the early 2000s, you'll see one of those coming up here. Um, this Trendmaster Star Castle, I sold this for $60. Um, I went on a little beach trip a couple of months ago, early October I think it was. And I um, went into a little kind of mom and pop thrift store and they had two of these. They wanted $25 each. I asked them if they'd take 20 each. They said sure. And um, this one sold for 60 and I believe the other one sold for four for full asking price. And this little Dawn outfit, Topper Dawn. I bought this at a flea market, which around here we don't really have any real flea markets. The flea markets are more like collectors markets. So the guy who had this, he um, he wanted twenty five dollars for it, and uh, I got well. That's probably pretty good. I kind of was a shot in the dark because my phone wasn't really getting good reception. It was in like the, the basement of this hotel, and so I just kind of gambled on it, and I listed it for fifty seven fifty, and somebody bought it for fifty seven fifty. So that's nice. Old Fisher Price stuff, bread and butter, but it sells. Uh, this is a pair of roller skates I bought at a collector's show for $5 at the end of the sale. I like to go there at the end because you get the good deals. And those sold for $40. And I actually had these for a really long time, but I had the, the, the size on there wrong. And it was weird because I had it as men's 6, women's 8. So I think people were confused, like, what do you mean? So somebody messaged me about it uh, a few weeks ago, and I fixed it. And then they sold. And here's another lipstick that sold. Uh, that sold for $30. I have a Disney Christmas die cut. This is actually like a really long thing. And, and the tree here folds out. It's like a honeycomb. That was really neat. I really liked it. Um, and I had used it uh, when I was working for the schools running the after school programs. I had used it in my program for a few years up on bulletin boards and stuff. But it was just in my garage, so I sold that for $20. This is a can of Psst, <laughs> which is dry shampoo. It sold for $30 or $25. And um, this from the estate clean out, I got this set of Snow White dolls. Um, I paid one price for basically all the toy and book and kids stuff that they had left at the sale after the sale. But during the sale, they wanted $125 for this set. And I got less than, I got, I think I got 68, I think is what they paid. So. They want to double the price. Estate sale people are crazy sometimes. Way worse than Goodwill. <laughs> um, and then this set of strawberry shortcake party invitations. I actually bought these on eBay. These were ones I didn't have in my collection and I saw somebody had a listing for five packages for $20. So I bought all of them kept one for myself and then have sold all the other sets for $18.50 each. <laughs> this is a Barbie locket. This is the last one. I had five of these. 
that I bought at a sale and that sold for $12. And this is some vintage Estee Lauder face powder sold for $18. And of course, again, I don't think someone's going to use it. I think it'll just be for collectability. This is a little key tag I found in a box from my attic, probably from shoes that I used to have, LA Gear shoes from way back in the day, and it sold for $10. And these shoes are tiny. They're teeny, teeny, tiny little, little Kittles shoes. They're like less than half an inch. They sold for $20 for the pair. And then um, this was a needle point that I found in an estate sale recently. I don't really know much about selling needlepoint, but I thought it looked really cool and interesting. And it was like a dollar, so I bought it and it sold for $23. And this is ET wrapping paper that sold for $9. There's another postcard that sold for seven. A strawberry shortcake raspberry tart rag doll. She sold for $38.50. I did pay up for her because um she, I bought a lot that was on Facebook Marketplace and I knew that I could turn it over and resell it. So I probably only made about $15 profit off of that, but I bought five dolls. So, and a couple of them, I was able to trade out my dolls that weren't as good for those dolls because they're like brand new. Oh, let's go all the way to the bottom here. All right. Um, this Penny Bright doll, these dolls are, they look like they would go with um, Tammy dolls, but they don't. They're made by, um, they're not made by Ideal like Tammy is. But I have found, they must, these must dolls, dolls must have been very, very popular because I have probably had 25 um, Penny Bright dolls and they usually sell for about $10 to $12, depending on the clothes that they have on. And this Mattel, um, this is a drowsy doll, but the original dolls came out in the 60s, and this is a reproduction from 2000. So she sold for $40, which was very nice. I didn't think she was going to sell for that much. This is just a lot of combs. I got a big jar like this. That was full of, actually bigger than this, that was full of doll combs. And um, I just separated them out into lots. These were some pony ones, My Little Pony, sold for 10 bucks. $225 for one of the sticker books. Um, this one had a lot of scratch and sniff stickers in it. Awesome book. If you haven't watched my sticker book videos, I bought a bunch of sticker books from this sale. I paid about $5 each for them and I've sold I think four of them now for around $150 to $225. So that's been nice. Um, here's some Haley's Comet stickers. Those sold for $8. I went to a different sale and picked up some Little Tykes dollhouse furniture can sell really well, especially if it's not yellowed. This, this stuff, once it gets yellowed, if it's been in the sun, it's not as desirable. It is still desirable, but not as. This little toy bench sold for $25. And then the rocking chair sold for $20. This is just a set of Burger King, um, Lion King toys that sold for $20. I paid a dollar each for those. It's actually not the complete set. The complete set had seven pieces. So if I had all seven pieces, I probably could have gotten about $30, but I was happy with $20 for six fast food toys. <laughs> and um, Strawberry Shortcake Blow Kiss Doll Outfit sold for $20. I bought that for five. It's just the, the, the clothes and the hat. It didn't come with the booties, unfortunately. Um, this is a Mark's Train Tunnel. It's a tin toy item. And uh, it's kind of big and cumbersome, and I've had it for quite a while, and someone finally bought it. Thank goodness. <laughs> it came from that estate clean-out, so it was one of the things. It's probably something I typically wouldn't buy, um, but I got it, and I got 15 bucks for it, so that's nice. And this is a um, Ginny 
queen of Mardi Gras doll that sold for $20 and I paid $3 for her. This is a Hallmark pop-up spring church scene. It's supposed to be like a centerpiece and that's from the 70s and anything pop-up I usually pick up. It sold for $10. Here is a lipstick. Tangy. This is from the probably the 30s. It's actually a push-up. So instead of the tube twisting, it had a little knob that you pushed up and down. And the, the tube part was glass, so it was pretty neat. $32.50 for that. $10 for Marcella Borghese. I don't know. <laughs> Cream resistor in a lipstick tube. That sold for $10. And then um, also Princess Borghese. Um, translucent pressed powder. These were both probably 70s, I would say, and that sold for 15. Um, this is a Disney Pixar Cars sticker book set. Um, so it had a sticker book and a, and a sheet of stickers. This originally came from the Target dollar spot for a dollar, and it sold for six dollars and forty cents. And then I got this um, for free. I got this Hallmark. Magic Motion Ski Trip Resort Ornament. It's one of the ones where you hook it into the light and it actually does some, you know, moves around. It was actually a ski lift and the ski lift moves around. Sold that for $13.50. And these bead, bead danglers, you could make, it was an interesting product. You could make curtains and wall hangings and all kinds of different stuff. They had a little booklet inside where it showed you all this different stuff you could make. But you'd have to buy like 40 boxes of these to make anything. I don't know. But this sold for $15. <laughs> and this is just a little PVC figure of um, Princess Jasmine. She sold for $9. Usually if I get PVC figures, I'll only buy them if I have like a grouping. But these were like bigger ones. And so they were kind of neat. And they were only a quarter each. So I, um, I did actually get a grouping of them. I got several of the princesses, but um, when I looked it up, I realized that separately they could do pretty well. And here is a Hotel Tropicana postcard that sold for $6. A Madame Alexander Wendy Honors Madame doll. Now, Madame Alexander dolls don't do great, especially ones from the 70s and the 80s. Um, newer ones can do a lot better, but um, the 70s and 80s ones, not great. And then the older ones, 40s, 50s, 60s ones can do pretty well, depending on the doll and how detailed it is. But usually the ones in these blue boxes, um, I tend to shy away from unless they look like they're very detailed or very special or something. And I believe I paid $4 for her and she sold for $15. So there you can see that's not a great profit. Madame Alexander dolls are they're not great. Here's another lot of those Santa Clauses. And this is a Peanuts Lucy ornament. I've had this on my store for probably five years, honestly. And I had two of them and they both sold within a week of each other. I don't know. <laughs> And this is just a little sleeping little kitty cat that sold for $7. Here's another Cabbage Patch doll. This one sold for $25, but the person decided this wasn't the face they wanted. So they actually returned her, which is fine. I have returns. I don't have free returns. You have to pay return shipping, but um, I do have returns on because if you don't, someone's just going to say there's something wrong and you have to return it anyway. So you might as well. She paid return shipping, and then I just relisted it, so somebody else will buy it. Again, some more Avon bread and butter. These are perfumed powder mist. I put them as vanity decor because I don't think you're going to use this powder mist. I don't even know if they worked. I didn't try them. I don't want to smell that. <laughs> they sold, they paid, I paid 50 cents each. They sold for $9 each. And then here's a third one. The same person bought all three. This is a Schleich uh, Sioux Archer on horse. I paid, I believe, $3.50 for this on the package, and I sold it for $33. 
and it's just a little Snoopy PVC figure, eight dollars. Another lipstick, this was an Avon one that sold for ten, and this cute little clippy guy, he's like I never know what to call these things. Uh, pencil gripper, grabber, clip. I don't know if there's like an official term for them. Um, but he sold for $10. And these are some whistle candy containers that sold for $10. Some more of the comb lot. Those sold for $10. And another from the comb lot. That sold for $10. And another from the comb lot. That sold for $5. Different buyers of all three of these. <laughs> This was a Jim Shore ornament that I bought for $1.50, and that I believe it sold for $18.50. And some porcelain dollhouse figures. Uh, they're six inches tall. They were, I thought they were nicer than they were once I opened the box that they were in. I was like, mm, these are kind of chintzy. So I sold them for $20. I was hoping that I um, had got some of those Bolo Buddies kind of jackpot ones, but. They weren't the greatest, but they still sold for $20, and I think I paid $3 for the whole family. Uh, this is St. Joseph's Real Sweet Effervescent Saccharin Tablets from um, probably the 60s. And I made sure anytime I sell something like this, I make sure and say in the description, these are not for use. This is for collectability only. People want to make um, a pharmacy setup or a general store setup they're going to put something like this in there and they're going to want to have those um, pills in there still so I'm sure somebody was happy to get that for $15 this is a magic charms doll by the company Eden and that sold for $38 Dentist Barbie sold for $25. Now, she usually does go for a bit more. Um, the dark-haired ones do better than the blonde ones. But this one had tape. For whatever reason, someone had put clear tape, like packaging tape, all the way around the box that way and all the way around the box that way. So it kind of messed up the packaging a bit. So it sold for $25. But... Typically, I think you can get about 35 for those. And then this was a 1995 Toy Max Creepy Crawlers um, little um, tray. You put goop in it, and you heat it up, and it solidifies, and it makes like little things. <laughs> like the Mattel Thing Maker. I actually do have videos, some older videos on some thing makers I found. I went through a um, bonanza of finding thing makers over and over again at garage sales. And so I show you several of the sets in some of my old videos. So check those out. And this little book I bought at a Christmas um, sale, kind of collector sale. And I paid a dollar for it. It wasn't in the best of shape. But it's a little pop-up book, which I've said before, I usually pick those up because they can do pretty well. And this sold for $40. Had it been in better shape, um, it could have sold for probably $75. So, yeah. <laughs> Pop-ups. And this is a postcard that sold for $10. This is a little patch I picked up at that same little mom and pop store where I got the Star Castles. Um, it's a, a, just a little name patch from Disney World that says Janet on it. It was a quarter and it sold for $14. Another lipstick that sold for $13.50. A Strawberry Shortcake record that someone gave me that sold for $15. This is a Babar plush and he was in the box still. He sold for $20. And then we have this Little Kittles box. It's like a little jewelry treasure box. It's real small, like about this small. It's like a doll case, but Little Kittles are tiny, you know, so it probably fits about six of them in there. And that sold for 50. And then this gal, 2004 My Scene doll, Masquerade Madness Butterfly Punk Barbie doll, sold for $115. I bought her for $4.50 at a sale. So that tells you right there, 2000, 2004, um, Barbie is selling for good money. 
And here's another Schleich from that same sale, blue and gold horse with knight, and that sells for $20. And then a, another pop-up book, nativity book sold for $25 and this is an Amsco Milton Bradley dealer catalog um, if you watched my channel recently you may have seen the video for this I love to get these catalogs and then I scan them and sell them make a video out of them put them on my vlog and just for their good toy reference so um, instead of keeping them all like I used to I scan them in and then sell them <laughs> and this was interesting here this is a bubblegum checkbook so this is an old candy item from 1994 and of course I put a disclaimer in there because you can't trust people I put a disclaimer in that said this is collectible this is not for eating this is not for use is collectibles only and uh, I paid like a quarter 50 cents for it something like that and it sold for 18.50 and then a little Avon Cinderella Magic. Now, I did say that the figural bottles don't sell for much, which is true. I mean, this only went for $12, but it's not like it's a big bolo. But the kids stuff does a lot better. And so this was Cinderella Magic Pumpkin, and that sold for $12. And I paid $0.50 cents again. And this was a giant Paw Patrol plush that I got from a... Um, Donatella bottle, Bottolino plush uh, mystery bag. <laughs> and uh, here's an Avon brush or comb that came from that one of those same that same comb bottle. And uh, this one sold for $13.50. Here's a Cabbage Patch Boy. He sold for $23.50, but they never paid. So he's still here. And uh, Department 56. Tweedledee and Tweedledum Alice in Wonderland um, holiday ornament sold for $18.50. This cute and weird little bunny rabbit figurine that sold for $18.50. People love their little Easter bunnies and like kitsch items like that, so I pick them up when I see them. This is a Disney Parks Jiminy Cricket. Pinocchio ear hat ornament sold for $30. I bought like 12 of these last year at uh, the Disney outlet store by my house for $4 each and sold one and then was like, great, I'm going to sell more and then never sold anymore. And then I saw them sitting over in this pile in November and said to myself why have these not sold at all so of course I looked it up and it wasn't listed so I must have done a quantity of one instead of changing it to a quantity of 12 so now that I listed it I've sold probably five of them so that's good <laughs> and uh, this is a little clicker a little owl clicker toy that was my mom's and her um Halloween stuff, but it's just it was really kind of rusty and stuff, so she didn't want any more, so I sold it for six dollars. Here's another of those Build a Bear Cub Scription boxes, and this one sold for fifty dollars. And then this is an old Clairol Mist hairspray. I love selling the vintage health and beauty items, and I know it's kind of a gray area on eBay, but um, I haven't had any problem with eBay for selling the items so um, hopefully I don't <laughs> and that sold for $13.50 and it was a full bottle of hairspray and again I put my disclaimer this is collectible this is not for use because I don't want people thinking well this hairspray doesn't work well it's from the 70s so I mean look at the picture on it look at this gal <laughs> it's probably not gonna work but you know, people. <laughs> and this little Monchi Chi plush monkey uh, sold for $15. Now this, I think, was one of the first of the pewter sets that I sold, but I bought just a big bag of these teeny tiny, like half inch to one inch pewter pieces. And this was one of the sets, and that sold for $10. I paid, 
I bought eight little bags. I paid a dollar a bag. And I've sold like 12 lots of them now. So that's cool. This is a Woodhue men's cologne. Fabergé by Fabergé. Um, it's a full brand new bottle. It was still in the package. It was actually in a gift set with three bottles. Um, but the gift set like just the three bottles together sold for about $90 and then separately they sold for like this one I had listed for a hundred I believe I took $85 offer on that one and then the other was a brute that sold for 30 um, that I has sold a while back and then the other one is called aphrodisia I believe and that one also sells for about $60 so it made sense to take them out of the package and sell them separately um, and I have made a video recently about sending po perfume and cologne through the mail and how to do it legally. You can't just list it on there and put it first class and throw it in a box. You have to, there's certain things you have to do. So make sure and check that video out if you ever sell cologne or perfume. Um, and then I have this Raggedy Ann and Andy art print. And um, I bought these for a quarter at a garage sale. I bought like four of them. I thought they would do really well, but they just haven't. I've had them for quite a while. This one sold for $9. And this little tin that um, I really don't even know where it came from, but it sold for $10. It was like a fruitcake tin. And that's it for November. Oh, that was December. I guess you got a bonus. And I will make the December video pretty soon. But for now, I guess we're done. How do you think I did? I think the best thing I sold in November was that um, sticker book for $225. I did pretty good without Barbie. Um, and I have another one of those coming up in December that did really well. So November was a pretty good month. And it usually is because it's, you know, getting close to Christmas. So, okay guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment down below anything you want to comment. Just say hi like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!